I'm not from here. I'm from Kent State. I started my flying life at Kent State, and I decided to explore my options, come to a new place, start a new chapter. I came here because I thought I could get a new start here. And I met Jenny Frempling when I was touring down here about a little over a year ago. I was on the fringe because um, I found good things, bad things about here, but Jenny made me see that this place is where I belong. And as she showed me all the good things, I decided that this is where I am to continue my journey of flying. And she has helped me get started here and get to know the other wonderful people that were also on that flight. Chris, Jordan, they, they've been my friends ever since I've come here. They've been a part of my life, and they're the reason why I'm here. Now that they've left, I feel that they, I must carry on their spirit. Um, they were wonderful people. They had hearts of gold, purer than gold. My life is just devastated that they're gone just as many of yours are. Uh, and I really hope that not only myself, but all of you can carry on their spirits and their joy that they brought to this campus. And I hope that we can, as we see this as a sad event, also see that they are in a great place, a great place called heaven. And they'll always be looking down on us, thinking what all great people we are and that we will carry on our spirit. Thank you all, and I hope you all have a wonderful evening. I joined FIT um, 2002, and uh, Jenny was in the same class as I am. We were first year RAs together at Columbia Village when it first opened. And um, we bonded during our training periods, and when the fre when freshmen came in, Jenny grew to be a great friend and wonderful colleague. I learned a lot from her. She was passionate about flight. She was passionate about students. She cared about the students under her care and her staff members. And this might sound cliche, but I have never seen Jenny with the spirits down. She always smiled. A lot of you who know her, as long as I did, will remember a spirit, a buoyant spirit. She was a very intelligent and possessed young lady, confident and an achiever. When I heard the news yesterday, I felt asked myself, how could this happen to somebody who was so, who excelled in being professionally and in a personal life. My prayers are with their, the families of Jenny and the other people who, who were in the plane. And this is a hard time for all of us. And I hope you'll join me in your prayers for them, their families, and their loved ones. Thank you. Yeah, I remember coming to Florida Tech in uh, 2007 as a freshman and uh, Jordan and Chris were my same class. Um, 
we had a lot of classes together. We still had classes together. But uh, yeah, I just remember all of us going through flight training together, trying to study for our one test, trying to do um, past stage checks and so on. And uh, Jordan excelled at flying, Chris did too. And uh, it was really great to be in the same class as them and to look up to them. And Jenny, Jenny was one of my flight instructors. She taught me to teach. I'm a CFI out at um, Florida Tech. And um, yeah, it's really hard. I'm also, I also was working for it. Um, last night, and Chris, I lost a Chris and Jordan. I lost a classmate. Um, and Jordan, I lost a coworker. And Jenny, I lost a, my boss, my teacher, my mentor. And all of them, I lost a friend. Um, so I pray that you would just keep them and your families and their families in your prayers and. Um, don't forget about them. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kirsty. This is Jessica. This is Sherry. We all worked with Kyle at Home Depot. He was our head cashier. Um, I know when I first started working at Home Depot, I was petrified about being a cashier, and I didn't know what I was doing. And this nice young man, who was very tall, came up to me and he said, do you have any questions about anything? And he just immediately, we clicked, and we knew we were going to be good friends. And so I could ask him anything, and he showed me how to be a good cashier. He showed me how to be a good person. And I will never, ever forget what he has done for me, for all of us at Home Depot. We're going to miss Kyle greatly. Christina and the family, we love you. Our prayers are going out to you. Give him our best wishes. He was always a really great guy. I love you, Kyle. I just want to say thanks for everybody out tonight. Um, it's just meaning so much to my family, all the friends. Um, you know, that's my life, you know. I just remember Kyle and Christopher and I, we took a seminal to, you know, it's the best flight I've ever been on with those two. And Christopher flew me to Punta Gorda to see my grandparents and my aunt and uncle. And, I was so proud of him. I'm still so proud of him. <laughs> I just miss him so much. And just thank you. I appreciate everybody. Kyle was uh, my student in uh, fall 2004 when I joined uh, Florida Tech in the Computer Science Department. He was uh, my first ever, one of my first ever batches of CSE 1502 C++ at that time when I was teaching this course. And uh, we had quite a lot of interactions, we had quite a lot of email communications. And uh, one of the things I remember about him is that he used to also take part in the Florida Tech crew. And I still remember having corresponded with his crew coach on one or two occasions uh, when uh, he had write to me. And time and again, I have been remembering him. Even uh, as recently as I think two days ago, I saw my wife and I we were walking here in the evening, and we saw him talking to one gentleman. And I was just remarking to her that uh, this he used to be my student in uh, 2004. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, may their souls rest in eternal peace. 